Hey, what is up guys? It is me, Zyden, and welcome back to another video on the channel. And today, guys, we are going to be building Green's Hermitcraft Season 6 base. And in the last episode, we built the Shulker Monster, which, if you don't know, is this thing. And that's pretty awesome. And we're going to be continuing this floor in today's episode and completely polishing it off. But anyway, uh, today to the Hall of Fame, we are going to be adding... Go Rex Tazzy, I hope I pronounced that right, I'm sorry if I didn't. So Go Rex Tazzy is on episode 5 and really enjoying the build, so there you go, shout out to you. If you want to be added to Hall of Fame, comment down below where you are in the series, doing all creative with survival, and all that good stuff. However, without further ado, uh, let's get into the episode. Right, so there is actually a few things that we need to do. So first of all, patch up that hole. Second of all, let's get some light grey concrete because we are actually going to be covering the bottom two blocks of each tower with this stuff. So you're going to want to be going out and you're going to want to be connecting it up by block. So basically you just want to go around like this. So you see how you're all linking that bit up and just go. So and you link it up by a block each time. So just go all the way around like that. And you're going to want to do the exact same thing on this side. So just go up two blocks, two blocks, two blocks and then back. And then back so just like this so it should kind of look like that and also we are going to want to do the same thing for the back tower so basically we're going to want to go one so it's a lot easier here we just go like this so and because it obviously goes to the shulker monster we don't need to worry too much about connecting it around and then we basically want to so just finish off this uh, just build it all the way around and once you're done you should have this. Okay, that is looking really good. Both of those are looking a bit better now. So now that we have done that, there is actually something else that we're going to need to do. And we are going to be getting to the chests on either side of the Shulker Monster later. But first, we are actually going to want to build out each white concrete by one more. So everywhere where there's a white concrete block, you want to basically go like this. And I'm not actually sure why this is the case, but it is... And maybe just to make it look a bit better for the interior. And so you basically just want to go like that all the way around. You can just place in two blocks here. It doesn't really matter. So just go all the way around and place each like a block like this. And then two blocks here. One block there. And then for the corners, I'll just quickly show you that. So it just basically goes like this. And then like this, like this, like this. And then... So yeah, just basically... Do that all the way around, but something important you need to remember while doing this is you need to extend it by an extra block. So it's not diagonally connected, it's connected, each bit will be connected by a block. So if it helps, you can do like this bit first, and then kind of so like this first, and then connect it by a block like this, and go like that. And then, so for the diagonals and stuff, it would just be like this, and then it would go bam like that like this so just do this all the way around and then once you're done you should have this that is looking really good and as you can see we've kind of doubled up that all and we're all linking it up by a block so everything you should you should essentially be able to easily walk along this so like this <laughs> that kind of helps with the explanation and before we actually get the chest area of this done, uh, you actually want to do it on a couple of other floors as well. So first of all, we are going to go to the floor above this and fill it in th here. But on this floor, you want to be careful because you actually, it's... The thing you've got to know about this base is it is extremely inconsistent. So for example, on this floor, we double it up and link it all up by a block. But on this floor, we do double it up, but we don't link it up by a block. Uh, on the other floor, it's the exact same thing, but just basically do the exact same thing as you did on the other floor, but don't double it up. So just kind of go like this, if that makes sense. So it should just be connected by diagonals like that. And then just go all the way around. And don't worry about placing any light grey concrete down there. It's just normal tower like that. And we'll get to that once you do the water elevator. But... For now, don't worry about that, and just go all the way around and just do this, but only connecting it up by diagonals, and once you're done, you should have this. That is looking really good, and that wasn't hard. And we actually don't want to do anything to this floor, we just keep it as it is, because that's going to be like a little garden area, and then we have this floor, and we're going to go one down, so on the kind of floor, 
on top of the bottom floor. And you can link up your things from here. And I just realised I never actually finished this. Well, it doesn't matter for now because uh, you get the idea of what it's meant to be. And we want to do the same thing that we did in the floor. One above rather than two above. So we connect it by a block each time. So just get, basically you go around a bit like this. You've done it before. It's easy peasy. So go around like this. And then once you're done, you should have this. All right. That is looking really great. So we have done all the kind of maintenance. And now... You can go back up here and actually properly do a bit of work on the storage area. All right, so if we come over here and we have this, we actually want to go one, two, three, and then we place light gray concrete. And so we want to go out one in this direction, and then we can go all the way along here, and we want to just go one longer than this. So there should be three blocks between here and the edge, and three blocks between this bit. And it should, so it should just be in total one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks long. And then we actually want to go four blocks up. So one, two, three, four, and you do it here. So then we can actually build the kind of floor bit. And we want to start by going one, two, three, four, and then along, then one, two, three, and along, and then one, two, three, then along. And then you should be able to get two in here and then three there and then poke out there. So it should kind of have be two and then one there like that. That's perfect. And then if we go behind here and we actually want to break this. I'm not sure if I just did that wrong, but you don't want to have a block there. So it should kind of be one, two, and then there, it's like there would be one there. So one, two, three, and then down. And then just we only want to go two here. And then we go one, two, three, and then we go down and we go six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And so that should be just one away from the shulker monster. That is perfect. And then there should be three blocks in between here and the edge. Awesome. So, all right. So now we're going to want to do the back bit. And we're going to start off with going, we actually want to start from here because this bit is just an extra bit that sticks out. So we want to start by going four along. So one, two, three, and four. And then you want to go one, two, and then link it up to one, two, three. And there shouldn't be, this bit shouldn't be linked up. It should just be completely diagonal. And then it should go down like this. And then you want to have one, two diagonally attached to this. And then it goes out and then it, but it is diagonally attached and it goes one, two, three instead. And then another three, one, two, three. And then another three, one, two, three. And then a five, so one, two, three, four, five. And then a four, so one, two, three, and four. So that should link up, perfect. And now we can just fill this in with a uh, white concrete. So just fill all this in with that you've done with white concrete. Tasks like this can be a little bit tedious, but they make the base what it is and are important. So anyway, now we can b actually build it up and then all we need to do is place the chests in, which is pretty good. So all we need want to do is mimic what we've done on the floor, but up here. So we have one, two, three, and then we actually need to go four up. And then we can just go one, two, three. And yeah, so it's really easy. All you need to do is literally just mimic what's on the floor there. So this is linked up. You go up here and you also want to go up here. And then you can just fill this in with white concrete. And you're not actually really going to see this because there's going to be chests here. But so, yeah, you fill it up with white concrete like this. And I broke a bit. <laughs> so you just kind of go like this, fill it in. And then once you're done, you should have this. There we have it. That is really good. So now all we need to do is pop in the chests. Right. So now we can go uh, one double chest here, two double chests here, three double chests here. These are all... Every single one of these are going to be double chests, just so you know. And then two sets of double chests here. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, oh, one, two, one, two, one, two. And they're all three stacks high. So then you can go one, two, 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 and one, two, one, two, one, two. Work one, two, one, two, like this. And then once you get to here, you basically just want to do the same thing. One, two, one, two, one, two. And this is just the only kind of irregular one. You actually want to place it one, two, like this, and then like that. So there should kind of just be a little bit of space in between that. And it is just so irregular. So yeah, there's just a little hole there. But 
Anyway, that is this side done. It's looking good. And the other side is a lot easier because there actually, for some reason, it's not a wall. I don't know why. See, this is the thing that I was talking about. I mean, it's just so irregular, you know? But anyway, let's get to work. Okay, so now we can get started on the other side of this. And it's pretty much the same, except there is no back on the other side. So we can start off over here and we want to go one, two, three, and then we can place the line. Just do it the same as the other one. So it goes one block out from each side. So it's one block further than these ones. And then we just go one, two, three, four, then one, two, three, then another three, one, two, three. And then we can actually remove some of this because I placed it very randomly because we actually want to go one. Oh, sorry, no, we built that out too far because it needs to be a total of three, even with the bit that connects. So then we go one, two, three, and then out. So you got two and then a kind of diagonal one that is perfect. And then you basically want to go one, two because the other one would normally be there, but it's not because the hand is, I don't know. And then we go one, two, three again. And then finally we go one more out. So it's just one block away from this. And we go one, two, three, four, and then five. And we want to go one, two, like this. And we actually want to extend to this both sides like this by two. And then we can go one, we extend this by one, and then go one, two, three, then go in and one, two, three, and then in again. And that is perfect. And we actually want to go three along here. And then we go one, two, three, four here. And then we just go three and then three again, three again, three again, and then four here. So that is basically the other side done. And then we can just fill in the floor with some good old white concrete there we go and then now we just want to go one two and it's going to be a bit harder because we actually have to place it like crouched and then jump up like this because there's no back to place it on but that's just how it is and then we go one two one two like this and we actually want to go one two here so it's a little bit weird as you can see there all right, sorry guys, I just, I did make a little bit of a mistake and that is that there should actually only be one here. So it should go one and then it goes up. So it looks like this. So there's three and then two and then it goes back to three and then we just, so we just break out these two blocks every time and then we break out these two blocks and then we break out these two blocks and then we break out these two blocks and obviously it isn't quite right there is one more thing that we need to do we actually need this to go one two three four five and then we can just break out these two ones and then you have the four here so so you have four and then you have five and then you have three 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 two three and then it goes down again so yeah let's anyway let's continue with this so you've got the two double chests, one of them is on the light gray concrete, and that goes one, two, one, two, one, two, then one, two, or oh wait, one, two, one, two, and then one, two, and then you just want to build this up three. And with that done, I think that we can call this floor pretty much done. It's looking really good, and yeah, uh, there is, of course, we're gonna have to pop in like elevators and stuff like that, but that, that'll come later. We don't need to worry about that for now. But anyway, yeah. 